Hello, I'm Marina Magre, the Division Chief of Rheumatology at University Hospitals and Professor of Rheumatology at Case Western Reserve University. And today I'm reporting for Room Now in Washington, D.C., ACR Convergence 2024. So it has already been an incredibly informative meeting and a lot of new data that were presented today. And I am going to walk you through some key highlights of today's meeting. So, you know, the ACE has consensus definition for difficult to manage axial spondyloarthritis was presented today. And the definition included treatment failures, which was defined as using two um, biologics or more from two different classes. It also included persistent in ongoing inflammation, either elevated CRP or on an MRI, uh, uh, high disease activity and impaired quality of life. I think the definition took into account both objective measures as well as some subjective measures like patient or physician's perception of uh, bothersome symptoms. Again, telling us that how you know multi-dimensional uh, you know challenges we face when treating these problems. But I'm very excited that this definition would allow clinicians to recognize these patients early on and also enable us to do more research. Another interesting abstract that was presented today was the much-awaited data from the classic study. Uh, this study was a combined project of ASAS and Spartan in order to refine the 2009 classification criteria, even though they were a landmark uh, step in uh, research uh, in axial spondyloarthritis, allowing us to expand those criteria, in, including patients with early disease. But uh, these criteria were often sometimes used for uh, diagnostic purposes, so it was felt that we needed to refine and increase the specificity of those criteria. The, this study tested these criteria using some predefined cutoffs with a sensitivity of 75% and specificity of 90%. And the data that were presented today showed that the study did not meet those criteria. And what the take home message is that the 2009 ASAS classification criteria may need to be revised. Another interesting abstract which I found in this meeting today was there was an abstract presented uh, from Meteor Spondyloarthritis database, which is data from seven different countries. And they used um, you know, um, artificial intelligence and uh, try to develop some predictive models uh, looking at patients who are at risk of flares with axial spondyloarthritis. So they, uh, this machine utilization, what they found was that those patients who have history of flares or have had, uh, you know, uh, been on treatment for a long duration of time or those patients with low ASDAS scores were actually at increased risk of flares. And uh, so um, these data, I think, are paving way for personalized medicine, so allowing clinicians to recognize these patients and maybe starting preemptive therapy to prevent flares.